So I was just finishing up the bracelet, and of course I knocked over the camera, of course, because that's how I roll. So I measured it, and I have just over six inches of beaded material, and now I'm gonna crimp this side. And this is the easy part. I'm just going to put my crimp bead on. And then I'm going to pull it the first half of this on my wire guard. Well, I'm not going to pull it up yet. I'm going to hold that open and then I'm going to slide my ring on. And now I'm going to pull this up. There you go. It's okay if there's a little space in there because I'm going to put a crimp cover on and that's going to take up slack. So if I've left slack in this, it's going to take that up. I'm going to pull the slack out anyway. I'm going to place this bad boy and then I'm going to crimp it. See, I'm on the back hole first, and I'm going to turn it sideways for the front hole, and I'm going to fold it that way and then give it a little squeeze to make sure it's gripping. And then I'm going to place the crimp bead. Oops. These don't always go on. They're very tricky little boogers. So, and I like to, like, push it against my finger and lay stuff across the crimp covers crosswise. See, now I have to go back and make sure that crimp bead is gripping it. So I'm going to squish it just a little bit more and then go back and place this crimp cover again. And that's it. I'm going to close this. Like so. And then I like to squeeze it from the top. And see how the seam, the seam should be flush, flush and the bead should be as round as possible. And then I'm going to cut off and I cut with, I take the tag and I hold the tag and I pull it against my flush cutters and I snip. And then I'm going to do the same over here. And that's it. That is your project featuring the little curved tube from my brush metal collection. I also sell all the charms and I sell the beads and I sell large hole beads and we have a new order of those coming. I sell all these charms, the tree of life and the sugar skulls and I, share, I sell all of these, the lotus, they're beautiful. I had a couple other projects here. These are the knotted version with elephant charms. Ain't they cute? And here's another version with just jump rings that shimmer over the top of four millimeter fire polish. And that's really, it's a really fun project. It's just daisies and a focal and four millimeter fire polish rounds with 10 millimeter, no, these are 8 millimeter twisted solid rings and a clasp and then a couple more charms. I always, I like charming stuff. Charming, I think if you're going to wear bracelets, they should be bangly and make noise. That's what I think anyway. Anyway, um, I appreciate you joining me. 
This was Cheryl with Dragonfly Beads, and I hope you have a nice day. And I'm going to just post these as part one and part two because I'm an idiot. And I don't videotape things because um, I'm not good on video. So, so this is all new to me, and I apologize. But hopefully you'll get something out of the little video. And if you have questions, by all means, post them. I'm happy to answer questions. Take care and have a nice day.